Welcome football fans to Front Page Transfers. Today, I have a topic that's been on my mind lately. Neymar, yes, the Brazilian superstar who often divides opinions in the football world. Is he underappreciated or overrated? Let's dive into the video. Eight months ago, Neymar scored a goal that left everyone in awe. It was a moment of individual brilliance, reminiscent of football legends from a bygone era. Just before halftime and extra time during Brazil's quarterfinal against Croatia in Doha, Neymar performed a feat that we rarely see in today's game. In just seven seconds and with five touches, Neymar masterfully weaved through Croatia's entire team, leaving them in his wake before calmly slotting the ball into an empty net. It was a goal that should have garnered more attention, but sadly, it didn't receive the recognition it deserved. Neymar's journey to greatness has been nothing short of remarkable. He recently surpassed Paley's long-standing record to become Brazil's all-time leading goalscorer with 79 goals. But that's not the only feather in his cap. Neymar is one of only 13 players to have won both the Copa Libertadores and the Champions League, and he's the only one among them to score in both finals. His European career, while not without its ups and downs, stands as a testament to his extraordinary talent and dedication. Let's compare Neymar's European journey with some of the other Brazilian superstars of this century, Ronaldo, Rivaldo, Ronaldinho, and Keika. While these players were undoubtedly exceptional, none of them sustained their excellence in Europe as long as Neymar has. Ronaldo, for all his brilliance, won only one league title in 14 years of European football and never reached a Champions League final. Rivaldo's top-level European career lasted just five years, and Ronaldinho's peak brilliance was short-lived. Kaka, briefly the world's best, struggled at Real Madrid and ended up in MLS at 32. In comparison, Neymar had a 10-year stint at two of Europe's biggest clubs with some incredible performances. Neymar's performance in Barcelona's historic 6-1 remontada victory over PSG is a prime example. He scored a crucial free kick, calmly converted a penalty, and assisted the winning goal all in one game. Neymar's impact extends to the international stage as well. He's always delivered when it matters most in World Cup tournaments. In 2014, Neymar dealt with immense pressure on home soil and was only sidelined due to a terrible foul. In 2018, he played a vital role in Brazil's campaign, including a memorable goal against Mexico. Neymar's move to Paris Saint-Germain in 2017 is often portrayed as a turning point where he supposedly went astray. It's true that PSG competes in a league considered by some as less competitive compared to La Liga, but there's more to this story than meets the eye. At the time, Neymar was leaving Barcelona, a club that was gradually spiraling into disarray. Meanwhile, PSG emerged as one of the most ambitious clubs in European football. Neymar saw this as an opportunity to become the focal point of a top-tier team, stepping out from the shadow of Messi at Barcelona. Some might argue that this move was somewhat underwhelming in terms of immediate success. However, in football, success and failure often hinge on fine margins. PSG narrowly lost the 2020 Champions League final to Bayern Munich by a score of 1-0. Interestingly, they had dominated the match until Kingsley Coman's late winner. It's worth noting that only a last-ditch save by Manuel Neuer, using his trailing leg, prevented Neymar from scoring what could have been a well-deserved opening goal for PSG in that final. Moreover, when Lionel Messi joined PSG, the team faced a challenge of becoming overly attack-oriented, with forwards sometimes neglecting defensive responsibilities. In this context, Neymar stood out as a player willing to put in the effort, not just in attack, but also defensively. He wasn't afraid to get stuck in and make crucial tackles, which set him apart from his teammates, Messi and Mbappe. Another thing that's often held against Neymar is the unfair comparison with Messi and Ronaldo, who are football outliers. They not only reached incredible peaks, but maintained their excellence over a long period. The comparisons drawn between Neymar and other players of his generation might seem unflattering because players like Robert Lewandowski and Karim Benzema hit their zenith in their 30s, while Neymar's career seems to be heading toward a conclusion in Saudi Arabia. Nevertheless, it's essential to remember that Neymar's brilliance was evident at a remarkably young age. At just 19, he was already conquering milestones, such as winning the Copa Libertadores and being crowned the best player in South America. In conclusion, Neymar's career should be celebrated for what it is a testament to his immense talent and dedication to the game. He may have taken a different path, but he's left an indelible mark on football. Let's not forget 
that while we debate his career, there's no denying his status as Brazil's all-time leading goal scorer and a player who's shown on both the international and club stages. That's it for today's video, folks. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of Neymar's career and legacy. Remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you think Neymar deserves more credit. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest football content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.